Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. A few days ago, well, quite a few months ago actually, I talked about uh, the books by Patrick Lencioni. I mean, just briefly about each of them and I was planning to talk about each of them individually, but didn't get around to do that. So, uh, finally, I uh, thought I'll just do that. First one I wanted to talk about was this, the five dysfunctions of a team. So, this has been a New York Times bestseller and really popular, translated in many different languages. And the way the book goes is, most of Patrick Lencioni's books are like, you have a business fable. So, the first part, the fable is like in a business setting, uh, the model in application in an organization and at the end uh, there is also just the model explained so the five dysfunctions of a team is really goes into the world of teamwork and five dysfunctions um, that are common in most teams and uh, it goes like the first one is uh, absence of trust so what that means is um, about lack of vulnerability. I mean, when there is uh, people's unwillingness to share vulnerability. So imagine if team members are not open to sharing uh, their weakness or what they are falling behind and things like that, um, then, uh, you know, this, this can be like, uh, yeah, they, they don't uh, trust each other and they are not sure what will happen. There may be negative consequences if they share uh, their weakness or what they are falling behind. Uh, so this, this function is uh, called absence of trust uh, and when you have absence of trust people would not really be open to share their weakness. And this first dysfunction then set tone for the next one uh, which is uh, fear of conflict. So imagine if we are a part of a team and we don't feel comfortable sharing our weaknesses or you know where we, we have some vulnerabilities. Uh, then what happens is we probably be very unli unlikely to share or challenge each other. I mean, we would not debate ideas uh, passionately. We would not challenge each other's ideas and, uh, you know, we will hide things. So that means we will have artificial harmony. I mean, we will not engage into healthy conflict. So conflict here is, is healthy conflict, obviously. Uh, so this is the second dysfunction, a fear of conflict. And, and when you have that, uh, because you don't debate things uh, openly, challenge each other's ideas, you may have negativity inside, but on outwardly you can uh, agree and there can be artificial harmony. And this leads to the third dysfunction, which is lack of commitment. So imagine if I'm part of a team and I had uh, kind of uh, question marks, doubts about an idea or a proposal, and I'm not comfortable challenging the person sharing that idea, be it the leader, be it another team member, I will have that doubt in me. And I will outwardly agree, possibly, and say, yeah, I mean, you know, sounds good, but I'm unlikely to commit to that. So that is what it means, um, you know, lack of uh, commitment, because I couldn't actually challenge. And when you have lack of commitment, that leads to avoidance of accountability. So when team members know that a certain team member is not fully on board with an idea or didn't, the team didn't get his buy-in, uh, then what might happen is, um, you know, they will not feel comfortable holding that person accountable. Or generally, the accountability in the team would be low. Um, that's horizontal accountability in terms of holding each other accountable. And when you can't do that, when you can't hold each other accountable or there is not enough accountability in the team, naturally that would lead to inattention to results. Uh, so, you know, results would suffer for organization. Uh, and in a state, um, there would be like a status and ego that, that takes priority. So that's, that's the model. And obviously there is much more detail into how, uh, you know, you can overcome these five dysfunctions. There is also another book called uh, Field Guide uh, for over, Overcoming the Five Dysfunctions. Um, that's also a great one. And I use this with my clients in terms of improving teamwork. And uh, there is a personal story with this book. I mean, I got into the world of teamwork so much after reading this. I actually signed up to become a certified team coach because it's, it's much more complex in terms of teamwork and how to improve that and how, go, how to go much deeper. Uh, 
so it turns out then this was one of the books recommended uh, in the program as well but i already read that uh, so i would recommend that you read if you if you have a team to manage you should uh, you know uh, kind of read that and if you want to have an assessment or find out how these these functions are in your team please feel free to get in touch and i will help you in terms of finding that out so thank you very much uh, thanks for watching comment below or get in touch if you would like to explore further see you in the next one